Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm diving into one of the most exciting parts of Genshin Impact 5.2, the total primo gems and rewards you can get as a free-to-play player, and trust me, you won't want to miss out on this. I'll break down exactly where you can score all these primo gems, plus some extra tips if you're a little competitive about your pulls. So, let's get into it. Alright, let's start with the basics. From November 20th to January 1st, we're getting two banners, meaning a lot of primo gem opportunities. And, if you're here just for the free-to-play rewards, let me tell you, you're in luck. Here's what you'll be looking at. First up, the update reward will give everyone 600 primo gems. This includes the livestream code that'll be revealed soon, but remember, you have to redeem it quickly, or it'll expire. I'll be sharing the code in my community tab, so make sure you're subscribed to stay updated. Next, we have quests for version 5.2, which will net you around 1000 primo gems. It's a solid bonus, just for keeping up with the storyline and events. And don't skip out on your daily commissions, they're adding up to 2520 primo gems over the course of this period. So, make it a habit and squeeze out every gem you can from those dailies. Let's talk Paymon's bargains. In the store, you'll get 5 fates each for the standard banner and the character banner. That's 10 extra pulls for free, and they refresh monthly, so grab them while you can. Now, onto the new events in version 5.2, this update is adding around 2,600 primo gems through event rewards alone, so be sure to complete them all. And don't worry, there are usually different types of events to suit all playstyles. New promo codes will also drop during this update, adding another 360 primo gems to your stash, so keep an eye out for those. Moving on to exploration rewards. We're getting a new area in Natlon, which means tons of fresh chests and activities, totaling about 1,400 primo gems. Plus, new teleports in the Natlon region will also provide 190 primo gems. Make sure to unlock them all, they're worth it. We've also got new achievements on the way, which could reward around 515 primo gems. Some of these are easy to grab if you're thorough with the update content. Character trial play in 5.2 is also on the list, adding a quick 80 primo gems, a small but valuable boost. Now, let's talk about the Spiral Abyss. If you're able to clear all 12 floors, you'll score 800 primo gems. And for those tackling the Imaginarium challenges, clearing all 10 stages will get you another 800 primo gems. Test your skills and reap those rewards. So far, adding everything up, that's about 12,365 primo gems, translating to around 77 pulls. Now, if you're willing to spend a little, here's where the numbers really start stacking up. For those who recharge the Welkin Moon, you'll earn an extra 3,780 primo gems over this period. Adding that, the total reward will hit 16,145 primo gems, which means approximately 100 pulls. And if you're going all out, with the Battle Pass activated, you'll get an additional 1,320 primo gems. With both Welkin and Battle Pass, you're looking at a grand total of 17,465 primo gems, that's over 109 pulls. That's everything for today. If you found this breakdown helpful, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss my updates on those promo codes and any other juicy rewards. I'll be keeping everyone posted so you can maximize every primo gem. Thanks for watching and good luck on your polls.